Here at Electronica in Munich, uh, we are talking with Texas Instruments about various things, but this one is particularly exciting because pose estimation is something I think most of us are familiar with at this point. AI can determine where a human being is moving and how it's moving, and robotic arms are something that I think we're all interested in as well, but this is something where those two things come together using one specific processor. So I'm joined by Thomas, who's going to walk me through this demo and talk about the advantages of exactly how it is set up. Thomas, what are we, what are we looking at here? Yeah, so what we are highlighting here is um, an energy efficient uh, edge AI uh, post positioning detection for machine. And um, um, in this case, we have a four axis uh, robot which we can control with our arms. So the camera will detect the position of our arms. The camera data is then processed uh, with the integrated hardware accelerators for image signal processing in the AM68 and uh, then forwarded to the uh, hardware accelerator for deep learning um, with our integrated C7X and matrix multiplication accelerators to actually detect and uh, control the uh, robot arm. Absolutely, and, and uh, one thing I should point out at this uh, stage is that uh, trying to have pose estimation on the floor of a conference would be a little bit like trying to test a sensitive microphone on the floor of a conference. There is a lot of noise and a lot of people walking around, but the idea here is that the pose estimation, you can see it following me and following my hand, and in, in theory, if we had a quiet floor here, you would be able to see me moving the robot with one hand and putting it down with the other. Yeah, so. so with yeah, sorry, go right ahead. Yeah, yeah, sorry, with the right hand you can control the position of the robot arm. Yes. You can try to pick up the suite here uh -huh. and move it forward. And with the left hand you can enable and disable the vacuum pump then on the front of the robot arm that it can uh, pick up the, the suite. Absolutely. And um, Traditionally, pose estimation isn't something that I uh, would link to robotics, but there are a number of advantages of being able to actually use pose estimation to, uh, to teach a robot movement. Um, so, I mean, what, what, are the few, what are the use cases you could see for something like this? Yeah, so the typical use case is um, in environments where you don't want to go into, so in hazardous environments, for example. Uh, typically, you would teach a robot by going there and moving the robot arm with your hands and teaching the endpoints. But in cases, uh, in areas where you don't want to go into, you could teach the robot arm um, staying away from the hazardous area and just uh, teach the robot with your arm movements to get to the right position. Absolutely, yeah, and, and presumably as well, another uh, great example of this would be if you just know how to do something instinctively with your hands. It's very difficult to teach instincts to robots, but this yeah. is a way of actually linking the two together. Um, but uh, obviously the star of the show here is the AM68. What is it about uh, this particular processor and on the Phytex SOM that you have that, um, that makes it perfect for this kind of job? So the AM68 has a lot of integrated hardware accelerators mm -hmm. uh, offloading the uh, main uh, CPU, the A72 cores. Mm -hmm. uh, so the A72 cores can be used for your application, mm -hmm. uh, but the hardware accelerators then would do the job for the image signal processing, offloading the uh, main core, the A72 cores, mm -hmm. and also uh, hardware accelerators for the deep learning. Mm -hmm. Uh, and neural network calculations, so we have integrated C7X DSPs, that's the next generation DSP from TI, plus the additional matrix multiply accelerator, enabling uh, very quick um, calculations for your neural network calculations like matrix or tensor or vector calculations. Absolutely, and, uh, and with the uh, AM68 and of course everything that we talk about here, we will make sure that there are links to that underneath this video and in the blog post as well. Hopefully while you are watching this interview we've managed to get um, some demo of this working. It's just very hard to find a time at all here when it's quiet enough to actually show off some of these things. But um, uh, as always, there will be links in the description to everything. Thomas, thank you so much for your time today. Yeah, thank you.